This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is one of the most iconic locks in India, and something that's been copied under dozens of different names, the Godridge Navtol. Navtol locks have been produced in a number of different sizes and lever counts, and they've also recently been redesigned. But this is the original design, and to my knowledge, the largest variant of it, the 85mm 8 lever. It's hard to appreciate just how big that is until you see a normal size padlock next to it. This is a master lock number three, which is absolutely dwarfed. Now this lock has clearly seen some outdoor use over the years, and during that time the mechanism seems to have gotten a bit sticky. As such, it only opens if you press down on the shackle to first relieve tension on the mechanism. After you do that, it works just perfectly. Unfortunately, what that means is that we're going to have to press down on the shackle while picking, and I think the best way to do that is with a rubber band. This is also a curtained lever lock, and curtains are considered anti-pick features, though they're really not all that much harder if you have a good approach to it. This is the tension tool that I'll be using, and it's nothing but a bent piece of spring steel wire. I think it's about 60 or 65 thousandths of an inch thick. This pick would probably be a bit easier if I had a thicker and stiffer wire, but unfortunately this is all I had on hand. So, all that said, let's get to picking. Let's first press this shackle down and hold it there with the rubber band. Okay, that should do the trick. Now let's get our tensioner and picking wire in place. Okay, I think I have that wire where I want it. So let's get to picking. <clears throat> Nothing on one, two, three, four, five. Might have gotten some movement on six. Click out of seven, and definitely a click out of eight. Back to the beginning. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Those back three feel like they're set. Nothing on one, two. Might have gotten some movement on three there. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Not sure what's holding us up right now. Nothing on one. Two, nice click out of three. Nothing on four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to one, two, three. Three keeps dropping down on me. That, yep, it just dropped again. Must not be ready. Four, five. Okay, maybe click out of six. Nothing on seven or eight. One, two. There we go. Click out of three, and this is open. So, as you saw, it did take some time to open this up, not because there's anything particularly difficult about this, there's nothing tricky in the mechanism, it's just that it has double the number of levers compared to most common lever padlocks, so it's going to take a little bit longer. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.